mean? Once again, in my final point about this, to just to relate something as a lesson to what we're facing right now. Among Muslims, especially among youth, certain things have become a joke. And they've become a joke with us, with American Muslim youth, because we see them as a joke in the larger society. For example, even in elementary school, and I'll just come out and say it, because you guys have to know this stuff, jokes about homosexuality are common. It's a joke. You're acting gay, don't be gay, this and that, you're such a homo, etc, etc. You know, that's what she said, these kinds of jokes. That have to do with fornication, adultery, homosexuality. These are common jokes. It's considered small talk. It's not a big deal. Are these serious matters of crimes as far as our deen is concerned? They're very serious. The first, la la the first line of defense, the first crack, when you stop taking something seriously is when you can joke about it. If you can joke about it, it's an indication you no longer take it that seriously. So when the society jokes about it, you know, homosexuality was actually entered into mainstream culture in America, if you study its history, it was entered by means of comedy. It was entered by that means. Eventually, first it was something to be laughed at and laughed about and it was entertaining. And eventually it just became so much so a part of, you know, uh, the, the culture that it's kind of crazy. You know, a, a friend of mine was playing basketball the other time in New York City. In Queens, he's playing ball, and somebody called a foul, and the other guy says, man, you're being gay. And the guy goes, what's wrong with that? And he starts like getting angry. This is how crazy it's become, <laughs> you know? But our children, Muslim children, don't think they're immune from these things. They hear these things all the time. They see them all the time. So when this, when this happens to them, they, they make jokes about these things that in and of themselves are completely and utterly unacceptable in Islam. And this would be an act of jahl. Because the first thing is to be able to joke about it, and once that, that line has been crossed, you don't know where it goes eventually. Because now that thought has become common. And these utterances have become common. The things you say a lot are the things you think about a lot. And when you think about something a lot, it influences you. You know it influences. This, this is why we have to have very strict sensitivity in regards to what we allow our, our, ourselves and our children to say. And especially youth, sometimes even religious youth make these kinds of jokes not realizing the potential harm they're doing to themselves and the environment around them. Because they say it's harmless, everybody's doing it, everybody has these kinds of jokes, it's not a big deal. Well it is. So, anakuna min al-jahirin.